Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths Key Skill video on multiplying any whole number by a single digit whole number. So I've got two example questions here and we're going to see the method for doing this. Now what we first do is to arrange these numbers in a kind of column-like fashion. So if we've got the 314 and we want to times it by the 2, we've just got to make sure that the 2, which is a units digit, appears in the units column because if 4 is a units digit here, that has to line up with this 2 here. So if we're multiplying whole numbers together, basically just make sure it's right aligned. So this right line here, you kind of push the numbers up to that. Now what we do is we do each of these digits from right to left multiplied by that single digit here. So this 4 is going to get multiplied by the 2, and 4 times 2 is 8. And then going right to left, we now do the 1 multiplied by that 2, which is 2. And finally, we do the 3 multiplied by that 2, which is 6. And this question was relatively simple because there was no carries. Every time we did like 4 times 2, 1 times 2, 3 times 2, we ended up with a single digit number. Now this one's a bit harder because we are going to get something called carries. So if we do the same thing, we line up the numbers so it's right aligned, so you've got an edge here, we push the numbers up against that right edge. So we first do 6 times 8, that's 48, and what you do is you put the units digit of whatever number you get, so 48 the units digit is 8. And then what I do is that 4 in front of the 8 I put that as what's known as a carry. So I'm going to make that a very small number underneath where I'm going to put the next number in my result. So we've done the 6 times 8. We next want to do the 7 times 8. We're going right to left. Now 7 times 8 is 56, but we want to include that carry of 4. So we add on that 4 that we had before. So 7 times 8 is 56, and the 4 is 60. So again, you put the units digit of your result here, so 60, the units digit is 0, and then we carry the 6. So units digit you put there, the tens digit you make a carry in the next column to the left. And then finally, we got 4 times 8, that's 32, and we add the carry, 32 plus the 6 is 38. So we put the 8 here, now we've run out of numbers to multiply by this 8, so when we get that result of 38, we're just going to put 38. We don't make that 3 another carry because we haven't got anything left to multiply. 